We are moving to the next category and it's going to be the most outstanding undergraduate student intern. And we have four finalists in this category as well. And the first that I will introduce is Daniel. Daniel looks like polite. So maybe he's very polite, but I don't think that's necessarily how it's pronounced. I'll let him correct me if it's wrong. Um, he is politely working on actuarial science, perhaps. Um, undergraduate in actuarial science, he is a State Farm actuarial and modeling intern. And Visi Ru is his supervisor who has words to share about his role and his impressive work in rate making guidance. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I think he's uh, Daniel Pilates. Um, oh, but, okay, uh, sorry. Yep. So um, definitely a lot to say about Daniel. Um, this has been my first semester working with Daniel, but Daniel has been with the State Farm for two semesters. So I would say um, Daniel is one of those guys who are really having those sharp learning curve, uh, great critical thinking skills, but also very passionate about the work he has been doing for State Farm. So uh, this semester he has been taking a project, uh, which it's actually the first time ever we uh, adopted a uh, multivariate uh, uh, regression analysis for a new uh, for the farm ranch line, uh, line business. So uh, we encountered uh, some hiccups in the beginning of the semester, the data source. Uh, for anyone who is working with data, you know how, uh, how important the data source is. Uh, if you have garbage in, garbage out. So we just kept that in mind. Uh, so does Daniel. Um, so Daniel diligently reviewed the data and uh, really provided a lot of useful feedback to the data source team to revise the, the data as well as reorganize their data uh, pool code. So I definitely imagine uh, Daniel's work will uh, make a huge contribution for the same line of business in the future, which will save them a lot of time in pulling the data. So in the meantime, uh, Daniel has also been uh, doing the modeling for this line of business. So uh, his work, uh, as I mentioned, it's the first time ever we adopted this approach. So he uh, understood the concept in depth and tried to apply what he learned in, into the project. And he also was trying to understand the big picture. So that's not very common to see in a lot of our interns, like understand the insurance, how insurance has been working. So a lot of great questions from Daniel throughout the semester. Um, so for the project, uh, Daniel uh, has been accomplished uh, this semester. It will have um, millions of dollars of impact on thousands of the uh, state farm policies in the future. So definitely a very impactful project going forward. Um, so also outside of his uh, project work, he has been the representative uh, for a fan commi uh, committee at the State Farm. So he has been fully engaged in this internship, but he is also engaging other interns. So he made our work much more fun in this virtual setting. So I really appreciate all the contributions Daniel made in this internship. Thank you, Daniel, for bringing the smarts and fun to actuarial science and rate making. And I'm going to keep Vissi around because she nominated another student who is also a finalist this year. And that is Nico Laval from State Farm, who is an undergraduate student in statistics. And he is also working on modeling. So can you tell us a little bit more about Nico? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'll keep the conversation here. So uh, Nico definitely has been a very uh, strong uh, intern in our program. So I consider him being another star player uh, at the State Farm internship. So he has been with us for two semesters uh, up to this spring. So he is taking the time off. So you won't uh, be able to see him today because he is just enjoying his uh, real summer vacation right now. But he will back, be back in the fall. So he has also been working on a rate making project uh, here at State Farm. Uh, so I would just tell one story about Nico, uh, the most impressive one. So uh, last semester, he was working on a team. Uh, he was not a lead intern assigned on that team, but uh, his lead intern was actually uh, have to drop off, uh, drop out the program due to some personal uh, circumstances. And um, as, at that time, Nico was a first semester intern. So he stepped into this lead intern role with a very short notice. 
and he carried out the rest of the project for his team actually. So he did not only just finish up the work assigned to him, but also taking on additional project work as well as a lead intern's responsibilities. So his project was considered a great success in the end and uh, adding a huge value to that line of business uh, at the State Farm. So his, his uh, project work will also be potentially impacting uh, thousands of the policies as well at uh, State Farm. So like both me like the, as a supervisor, as well as, as uh, other managers are very impressed by his independent research ability, his adaptability, as well as his uh, leadership skills. Um, so uh, yeah, with that, uh, we are very exciting to have Nico uh, being, with, uh, being with us around for another few semesters and hopefully he could uh, stay with the farm longer. So yeah. Thank you, Vissi. And our next finalist is Adam Zhao from Corteva. Um, excited to hear more about this undergraduate in computer science who is working as a data science intern. And Shraban, it's I think his supervisor will be telling you more about. I'm not sure if he is present or- no, I'm here. Okay, oh, there he is. Okay, great. Tell us more about Adam. Yeah, I'm happy to talk about Adam. Uh, he's been a really wonderful intern for us. Uh, when, when he joined us this summer, uh, we set him up with kind of a very difficult but impactful project and difficult because uh, he had to develop a set of tools and visualizations for really, really messy genomics data that he didn't uh, quite understand easily, but he really put in that effort uh, to learn a, a lot about a new domain for him quickly. And you can really tell that he's taken the effort because I, I would get these messages saying, hey, there's this edge case that doesn't work. There's this edge case, what's, what's that about? And, you know, so we'd have that conversation back and forth. So to really understand what's going on. So that's something I really appreciate uh, about Adam. Uh, but also, you know, uh, the, the tools that he developed are going to be super impactful for the team uh, going forward uh, to make sense of all of that data in a nice clean way. Uh, so in order to develop those tools, he's uh, shown remarkable technical proficiency. But I think the, the what I really appreciated the most about Adam is how he thinks really about the future because one of the questions that he kept asking um, is how many data points this is going to have, not just for now, but in the future, you know, five years from now. So he, he really, uh, and I think that really showed how he was focusing not just on his media deliverables, but also thinking what this tool could become and how to prepare for those data scale up challenges. And he had no, problem saying, you know, this framework that you're suggesting isn't right, uh, and here's a better one. So I uh, really appreciate his uh, being so easy to work with, and just wanted to thank Adam for his work and congratulate him for a deserved finalist spot for the most outstanding undergraduate intern. Thanks, Adam. Thank you for sharing more about Adam. And next, our last finalist in this category is Neil Koshikar. And Julia Hart, I see, is here from Country Financial to tell us more about this undergraduate student in computer science who is working as a financial software developer and project manager at Country's Digital Lab. Julia. Yes. So yes, I nominated Neil because um, Neil has outstanding leadership skills. He was actually hired in the lab as a software developer in the spring. Um, semester. And after just one semester, we promoted him to project manager because he shows such um, uh, amazing organizational and uh, leadership skills. A project that really stands out that Neil's been involved with is an AI communications platform. And this is a project where he's working um, to develop a system, a, an artificial intelligence callback system, um, integrating Azure cognitive services with some of our systems at Country. And we actually just uh, went to Bloomington yesterday and uh, had a presentation for the directors. And so they were very impressed with, with that work that we were able to come up with something that started as an idea in the spring to a POC in just a short amount of time. So that was pretty amazing. Um, outside of his project management skills, Neil is really dependable. The students in the lab really enjoy working with him. He, you know, always make sure that they, you know, understand what's going on or who they need to talk to at the home office, um, keeps them on schedule. 
So I think that everyone really enjoys Neil and gets along with him um, very well. So he's definitely been a, a very much of an asset to the lab and uh, to the home office for helping moving country financial forward. Awesome job, Neil, and great words from Julia about your accomplishments. Glad you got to show off at headquarters yesterday. She posted some pictures, so I saw, saw some of that uh, FaceTime you all were getting there with your projects. It's pretty awesome. Okay, well, it's my pleasure to get to introduce that the winner of the most un outstanding undergraduate intern in the research park this year is Daniel Polites. Congratulations, Daniel. Daniel, tell us about your work at State Farm. Sure thing, thank you, Laura. Um, I've had a great time at State Farm these past two semesters. It's, it's really been a good chance to, to learn about the rate making process and insurance. And so I've had a great time kind of developing professionally that way. Um, and, and personally too, um, I've had a great time with, with the coworkers there and, and our mentors and managers at Safe Farm. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed, they have a really like relational focus with, with how they're running their internship. And so that's been a great time. We, we last week got to go into the office for the first time and actually meet the people we've been working with for like six months. And uh, it was just like a seamless transition. Like I've been working with them in person for, for months and months because of that. And so I've been super appreciative for the time I've gotten to work here so far and, and for, for Visi for, for being a great mentor and, and manager and nominating me for this. So yeah, thank you very much. Awesome, great job, Daniel.